Hi, this is Jay here with jaysonlinereviews.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to put together an email broadcast with clickable links in it. And I'm using, this is one of my email accounts with Aweber. And I'm going to use this, this as an example to show you how to do it. Alright, right now I'm on my Aweber account. And what we're going to do, as you can see I'm on home. And there's a create a broadcast button. It's a big green one here. Click the arrow down. Now there's two ways you can do this. There's a new, Aweber has a new setup going on, which I don't really care for. I like the old setup. That's just me. And I'm going to show you how to do it using the old setup. It's a lot easier. So I'll click this green button, the arrow down. And you're going to see drag and drop email builder, plain text message, code your own HTML, and previous message ed editor. This is what we want. So you want to click on previous message editor. And a new message has been created. Now we're in broadcast edit. You're going to insert your subject here. And right now I'm going to leave that blank. What I, what I did right now is I copied a blog post just for this video to show you how to how to do it. I'm going to take you through it step by step. Okay, we're going to put control plus V because I already copied uh, a blog post like I was saying. This pastes it. This will paste it on your um, Aweber broadcast message control plus V if you have something co copied so as you can see here it's about the covert store builder and you can see I have my message set up here so we're gonna put a subject in um, I'll put how to make How to increase your affiliate earnings. By ten times using an Amazon store builder premium. WordPress plugin. Maybe everybody's raving about whatever. But you're gonna want to put something in the subject line that's gonna capture your subscribers' attention so they click on it and they open your email. That's that's the goal of email marketing is to get your subscribers to click on your broadcast emails that you're sending to them. So you want to have something that's gonna capture their attention. So the better you can make the subject line the more relevant to whatever you have you're talking about in your broadcast email, the better. So keep that in mind. So right now I got how to increase your affiliate earnings by 10 times using an Amazon store build store builder, an Amazon store builder, premium WordPress plugin that people are raving about. You know, it's make it sound the best you possibly can to get that open right. So right now the first one here is an HTML message. And you're going to put whatever your message is in here. And you see this clickable link here? Whatever you want clickable, see it's high highlighted? That means it's a clickable link. And that's my affiliate link there. What I'm going to do though is go back and show you how to do this. It's already in here and I don't want that. So I'm going to make this uncle I'm just going to delete it yeah, it's kind of messed up now but I'm just going to show you this for the videos purposes how to do it say I'm promoting the covert store builder click here to check out this theme in action. Some to that extent. You want to put it, highlight it, make it bold so it sticks out, and you want your um, your links as close to the top as you can get them, and you want them to stand out. 
so people don't like to look through everything and you know read a lot before they have to just click on a link. You want them to get get them to wherever you want them to go, whatever product or service you're promoting, or you know maybe it's your blog or website. You want to put that right in front of their face as soon as possible so you get that click and you make more money. So click here to check out this theme in action. It's already bold. I change the size to about four. I make it a little bigger than my other text so it sticks out. Now highlight it again. You're going to click on this link button here. Insert edit hyperlink. The URL field, you're going to have your affiliate link copied or wherever, um, whatever link you want to link them to, the, maybe a link to your business, your website, whatever. And you're going to paste that in the URL field. In my case, it's an affiliate link. And how we want it to open up, same window or new window. I always like the new window option, but that's up to you. And then you're going to click insert. All right, you just made yourself a clickable link. That's how that works. And you can do that wherever you want in your on your in your email broadcast. You can make a clickable link wherever you want. We're using the same philosophy. Say I want to make one here. I just highlight. This is where a professional WordPress e-commerce theme. I want to make that clickable. I highlight it. I go up to that link, that chain button, which is a link button. Click it. Click the URL. Paste my affiliate link or link to whatever I want in there. Click insert. There you go. So that's a link again. Another tip I'd like to give you at the end of every, um, I'm using a web. Aweber is an example. I always like to put a signature link in there, and that's promoting products that I recommend, and it goes out with every single email. So that'll increase your earnings too by doing that. So, and you just for a signature link, you set that up before you do this. But mine's already set up. But how you're going to put that in here is personalize. Um, go to find signature link, which is right here. Click it, and it goes down there. Now your signature link is going to be automatically included when you send out your email broadcast to your subscribers. Now we're going to go back up here and I'm going to show you how to do it. This was the HTML message I showed you, which gives you pictures and all that fancy stuff. Graphics you can put in there, that's what the HTML one is. Now the plain text message is not going to give you all these fancy graphics and everything. It's just going to give you text with a link to wherever you want to go. So we're going to copy this. Control plus C is copy. Control plus V is paste. And then this one you don't need it. Just put paste. You're going to hit the wrap long lines one to make it smooth and readable. So we're going to put click here to see, check out this theme in action. And I always like to put So it stands out some arrows or something there. And then you're going to put your affiliate link here, which you put in up here. Or whatever link you're using. There it is. I could take it out of here. If I didn't have it I didn't have it copied or copied yet, so I'm going to take it from this one. Then you're just going to paste it right here. So they're going to click here to check out this theme in action. There's your affiliate link. Then you can copy it again and put it wherever you want. Put it in the middle of the blog post, relevant to what you're talking about, and then put it at the end of your blog post at least three times. And then have your signature again down there. Now you're all ready to go. All your broadcasts are ready to go to your subscribers. You just clean it up, make it look nice. And what you can do now is you can don't use the scheduler or use the scheduler. The scheduler will let you um, set a time you want to send out to your email subscribers. So today's Sunday the 22nd. If I want to send out on Tuesday the 24th, I can do that. I click this and I can set it out at whatever time I want. 9.53 a.m. the 24th. I click save message. And that, that broadcast is going to be sent out on the 24th or whatever time I suggest I set it up for on the scheduler. It will be set automatically. So that's, that's the cool thing about that. Now, don't use scheduler. 
you're gonna that goes out right when I, right now. You know, as soon as you save it, you go over to your message in your broadcast, and it'll take you right over there when you're done saving it. I always do a test to make sure my links are clickable and they're right before I send it. And then once they're 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 set up and they're right, I'll go back over to my message and I'll send and I'll hit send broadcast. And you want to do that with the scheduler too to make sure send a test message to make sure everything's your links are clickable so you're not sending broken links to your subscribers. Then you're gonna to have to send again and get more unsubscribes and make people a little some of those people upset because they're getting too many emails. So that's how to um, put together an email broadcast using AWeber and sending it out to your subscribers. I hope you liked the video. Please share it with a friend if you found it useful. And please sign up underneath this video for my 21 free ebooks on affiliate marketing, internet marketing, and everything in between. There are 21 top quality books in tons of different niches, and they're awesome, 50 plus pages. So make sure you click that link underneath this video and sign up for them. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks a lot. Hope you learned a few things. And